Al. NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frischette. All right, time right now coming up on 617. And Ben, with the Festival of Fools happening this weekend, what do we think for weather? Because right now I know you've been tracking <laughs> some storms. <laughs> I know, you may be uh, looking out the window and be like, uh-oh, are we still on for today? <laughs> Good news is I think all of the storms leave the Burlington area as the festival gets underway, as you heard Sid mention, right around noon. If you've never been before and you're in the area, I would highly recommend stopping by. Over 100 free events across Church Street and City Hall Park throughout the weekend. And that background picture, just a little preview of what you can expect as you're walking around the festival this weekend. By the way, Tyler Jankowski giving us a live report tonight on the NBC5 News at 5. Make sure you tune in for that. Who knows what he'll run into there. As we uh, kick off the festival, just a mix of sun and clouds. Cooler compared to yesterday. Temperatures in the 80s, but that's the coolest day of the entire uh, festival. You can see both Saturday and Sunday. Highs in the low and mid 90s. A lot of humidity. I think the best chance for storms happens on Sunday, but both days the risk for storms in the immediate Burlington area is relatively low. Speaking of thunderstorms, what an active morning it has been across the North Country. We'll bring you around the region, show you this new thunderstorm that just popped up over Oswagachi, heading in the general direction of Tupper Lake, and a bigger cell that is coming off the high peaks, impacting E-Town and North Hudson, heading in the direction of Crown Point and Addison and Vermont, and another little area of rain that is actually about to impact the Plattsburgh area. Although most of this storm is passing just to the south, I would expect Peru, Sable, Black Brook to get involved with that one soon. And then one more cell heading in the direction of Montpelier and Barrie. That will continue to move to the east-southeast at about 25 miles per hour. Little less active in southern Vermont and New Hampshire this morning, but with all the humidity in the air, temperatures didn't drop off much overnight. Upper 60s, low 70s as you're stepping out the door. Very elevated dew points today. And look at what happens as we go through the afternoon. This yellow color, that's the end of the humidity. It tries so hard to sink to the south and give us some dry air today, but that's about as far south as it gets all weekend long. You can see what happens as we start you off Saturday morning, a little bit of relief, and then the humidity just surges back in from the south, and that is the case for uh, Sunday and most of Monday as well. Plan for today is a few early storms giving, giving way to a more isolated coverage in the afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. Still humid with highs in the low 80s. You can see this here on Futurecast, mixing in a little more sun towards the evening. Clearing out overnight as the drier air tries to come in. And it should be mostly sunny tomorrow, but remember, hot and humid. So keep that in mind if you're spending a lot of time outdoors and a better chance for thunderstorms with more heat in place on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, that's the period of change for our weather scattered storms both days and then turning less humid by the middle part of next week. Sarah Beth.